Hello, so it's Monday and we're seeing a large sell-off in equities as China dropped about 8.5%. So there's a lot of volatility in the markets. Last week was a very red week. And the way I'm going to play this is through a long straddle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy calls on Alibaba and also buy puts on Alibaba at the same strike price. And the reason is, I think we'll see a lot of volatility in stocks over the next little while. And I've chosen Alibaba because they're going to report earnings. And they are a Chinese company. So they're very susceptible to these market reactions to China. They've already moved a few percent today. And I think that over the next couple weeks, we could see large percentage moves in either direction. So the reason I'm choosing this strategy is because I don't know for sure if Alibaba is going to go up or it's going to go down, but I do expect some volatility and want to capitalize from this. So the first thing I'm going to do is buy $80 strikes and buy three call contracts. Now I did this earlier today, so at the time the premium was $3.94 for a total cost of a little over $1,000. At the same time, I also bought three put contracts at the $80 strike for $3.55, again for a cost a little over $1,000. So my total cost and total risk in this position is $2,264.48. Again, this was done earlier today, so the prices will have changed a bit. Alibaba has come back a bit. But the rough idea is still going to be the same. For a couple thousand dollars, I can control 300 shares of Alibaba in either direction. Now with that cost, that's approximately $7.50 per share. My break even would be $7.50 above the strike price on the call side. So about $7.55 with commission. So $87.55 would be my break even on the call side. And 72.45 would be my break even on the put side. So if Alibaba rises above 87.55 or goes below 72.45, then I'll be making money. Now these are moves of just under 8% to the upside and just over 10% to the downside, which is very possible with catalysts such as earnings as well as the Chinese volatility. However, I'm not necessarily going to hold these until expiry. If we do see significant moves in either direction, what I would most likely do is close out one position to hopefully cover most of my cost. So for example, if Alibaba went up to 84, I could sell those calls and most likely cover most of, if not all of my $2,000 cost and then still hold the puts for basically a free trade on the downside if earnings are poor. Same goes the other way. If China is doing poorly over the next few days, Alibaba drops with the Chinese market, falls down to around $77. Now I can sell those $80 puts and get most of my $2,000 cost back and then still have the upside of the calls if Alibaba reports very well on earnings. So this is a great strategy to play volatility and you can actually get moves in both directions which would be ideal. See a large move in one direction and then a large rebound in the other direction. So this is my video on the long straddle using Alibaba. Please share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can also follow me on Twitter or add me on Facebook, Day Trade Canada, and visit the website. Thank you and have a great day trading.